Uh, so hi guys and once again welcome to today's math problem. This problem is a popular one and when I last checked there were more than 500 individuals who tried to solve it on a site called brilliant.org. So let's proceed with the problem. We have a big square as shown in the figure and we divide this big square into nine smaller congruent squares. So the question is, what is the sum of the measures of these three shaded angles? That is, what is x plus y plus z? So please pause the video and give the problem a shot. And yes, feel free to return to watch and discuss the solution. Welcome back. So one of the approaches you may take makes use of trigonometry. So for example, we can say the following. The tan or tangent of angle X is the ratio of the sides of this opposite side here and this adjacent side here. Similarly, we can find the values of angles Y and Z in the same fashion. If you're not clear about this concept, please refer to the notes. But what we'll do is we'll try and use another approach to solve this problem and that approach does not require trigonometry. And for that let us first find out the value of angle x without using trigonometric functions. So as you can see this triangle here is a right angled isosceles triangle. So this means that this angle here is 90 degrees. And since this is an isosceles triangle, these two angles are equal, which implies that one of the equal angles, that is x, has a value of 45 degrees. Now let's focus on angle y. If I create another diagonal here, like so, can you see that this angle is also y degrees? Pause the video right now and give this a thought, please. And we also have something interesting going on. Angle Y plus angle Z plus this angle here add up to 180 degrees since they are on a straight line. Let me call this angle B. So Y plus Z or Z plus B is 180 degrees. So what could be the value of angle B? Let us find out. Now these two triangles here are congruent. So if this angle is y, then this angle is also y and thus this angle is 90 minus y. Which means that this angle here is 90 degrees. And by the way, this triangle here is thus an isosceles right angle triangle. So this angle is 45 degrees. But we saw earlier that angle X was 45 degrees. So angle B is equal to angle X. Thus we can say that X plus Y plus Z or Z is 180 degrees. And this is our answer. So guys, if you liked the video, do not forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you're using the YouTube app, click the bell icon to get notifications from Funza Academy. My name is Sanjay and I make weekly math videos. Thanks a lot and bye for now.